بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we are back so this is an exercise which concerns uh, an integer parts of uh, real numbers <laughs> so let uh, us get started for n in n which means one two three uh, until um, plus infinity we suppose that x1 x2 xn are elements from minus one one this means that for all uh, e x e from e equal to one uh, till n are elements from the closed interval minus one one and we suppose also that the sum the simple sum of uh, the elements are equal to zero then prove that the uh, absolute value of the sum from k equal one at until n k x k is less than or equal to an integer integer parts of n square over four we have here we pre propose here two solutions so the first one we remark that the sum this sum this sum can be written as x1 this the first one plus x2 the second one plus plus x and the last one but since we have here two so there is x2 we will take it x2 plus x3 until xn we have uh, no uh, x1 and no x2 but we have three x3 so we have here x3 plus xn until we arrive to xn minus one plus xn and the last one is x x n but this sum is equal to zero so this is equal to zero and we have from the uh, second uh, the second equation the this equation x1 until xn is equal to zero this means that the sum from x2 until xn is equal to minus x1 <clears throat> and we, we distinguish two cases the first case n is an uh, even uh, number and in this case the n square or, uh, over 4 is equal to p square and in and we get the integer parts of uh, n square over 4 it is equal to p square which is equal to n square over 4 so in this case we can write this absolute value of the sum and then we will uh, distribute it in this sense. So we will write it in this in this form. But don't forget that n is supposed to be two n, uh, two p. Sorry. So we will get using uh, extended uh, triangle inequality. We will get x one until x two p. The second one is x two until x two p, and and so on this is equal to zero but the second one this one don't forget that it is equal to minus x1 so we have here the absolute value of minus x1 the third uh, part it's equal to minus x1 minus x2 and we repeat this this operation until arrive to this one which mean we are here until 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 this one, uh, I am here. So until this one, yeah. Plus the, the, the second part, we will keep it as it is written. So plus XP plus one until this one. So what we will get, we will get zero, but this is just an element. And since minus X one is in uh, minus one, uh, min uh, minus one, one, so it is less than or equal to one. This, there is two elements. So we use the uh, triangle inequality. It will be less than two and so on until this one. If we take P minus one, minus one, this means uh, P minus one, minus one, P minus one, minus one plus one. This means that we have P, uh, P uh, repeated element. And since every element is less than or equal to one uh, by absolute value, so it will be P minus one. This, this is P, this is P. 
and we will uh, repeat this operation from this one until this one until arrive to one so we have here so we have here p once but the others are repeated twice they are repeated twice and we will get p p uh, times p minus one over two because we know that the sum this sum is equal this sum is equal to this sum and since it is repeated twice so we have twice times this one but the, this sum is equal to p square and p square is exactly the integer parts of n square over four in the second case we suppose that n is equal to p n plus one so n square over four is equal to p square plus p plus one over four and so the square root of uh, the integer part of n square over 4 is equal to p square plus p plus p this one which is equal to n square minus 1 over 4 if we need to write it uh, using n the natural number n which is equal to 2p plus 1 in this case we have until 2p plus 1 and we we'll repeat the same the same operation just in this case b p will be repeated twice and the others are the same so we have 2 pi uh, p uh, times p plus 1 over 2 which is equal to p square plus p and this is the integer part of n square over 4 so if we take the first one or the second one in both us in both cases we have this large inequality a second method here we used another symbol this symbolize this symbolize the integer parts so the integer parts of n square over 4 is equal to p square if n is equal to p and is equal to p square plus p if n is equal to p uh, to p plus one the first case we suppose that n is equal to to p we take our formula we divide it into two uh, sets the first one we start from k equal one to to p minus p the sum from k equal one to to p and we have here k x p minus minus p the sum from k equal one to to p xp this is the main the main important uh, idea so so p is the half of n we can verify that this uh, sum is exactly this one but using this this uh, this great idea it is not from me this idea so this is equal to the sum k equal to 1 to, to p the difference and since xp uh, xk is in minus 1 1 so by the absolute value it will be less than this uh, quantity but this quantity we will divide it into two uh, two uh, two different uh, sums the uh, the sum of the first one and the sum of the second one will uh, gives us this final result so here easy uh, easy uh, how i can say it easy operation so here we keep that for k minus p this means that k is less than p and here this means that k is greater than p and we have to uh, cook a little bit the uh, calculation to uh, arrive to this result which is which is less than n square over the, the integer parts of n square over four in the second case one n is odd so we have two p plus one and we will repeat the same thing first of all we have to check that this is true and this is the uh, most important idea so we prove that this is uh, true then we uh, repeat the uh, above operation the above um, 
thinking, the power resonance to uh, uh, to fail to uh, find this this one. And since xk is in uh, minus one one, this means that using uh, extended triangle inequality, we will get this one. So we have to add it. Uh, two cases and uh, when we uh, pull out, when we uh, cancel the absolute value respecting the rules, we will uh, find this operation. I am sure that you are able to do it. And if you are not able, you are supposed to be able to uh, do this calculation, which is less than or equal to the integer parts of n square over four. Why we can just verify here this is exact and we can say that it is less than or equal so in both cases we have the final uh, result on this i finish this quick